Hello, signs of Aries. We will be doing a quick and general reading for the sign of Aries for what you can expect for the rest of the month of December. Just dropped a card. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the sign of Aries. We'll begin with pulling your overall emotional elemental energy for the month of December. Overall emotional energy for Aries for the month of December. Thank you. Living in the veil. But I'm hearing the fog is lifting. You've been living in the fog for a while, haven't you, Aries? It's okay. Sometimes we need to remain in contemplation for a while. So that when we make our next move, we know that it's the right one that won't get us hurt, right? That's what it's all about. All right. Sign of Aries. What to expect in December. Please, Spirit. What to expect for Aries. What can Aries expect? Swift movement, Knight of Swords. <sighs> maybe a swift tongue. I'm hearing maybe a swift tongue. Using your strength, tapping into your strength to move forward. Hmm. Ace of Swords, New Beginnings, Knight of Pentacles. Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Okay, you're definitely... You're definitely wanting to move out of the energy of this pain. I feel like this is from the past, way in the past. This is not fresh. There's some past healing you need to let go of and, and to do. That's why you're in the veil, I feel. Because you haven't completely healed. What else do we have, please? What else do we have? Best guidance for Aries. How can I help them? How can I help them to move forward and have the best December? Give me guidance for Aries. Time to end this. It's time to end this. But it's not it's not a relationship that you're ending. It's it's heartache. This is the queen of hearts. And you're in the veil. You're still walking in some kind of heartache. And maybe fear. I'm hearing maybe fear of the unknown. But you have the ace of swords. This is information coming in that's promising for you. And the Knight of Pentacles right after it. So there's someone in your energy. There's someone in your energy that is offering you something really beautiful. Is that why you're veiled? Is that why you're trying to Contemplate, should I take this offer? Should I take a leap of faith? Spirit, what is this? What is this, Spirit? Yeah, choices. Seven of Swords in Reverse. Lots of choices, wanting to make the right choice, being a little defensive, more sword energy, queen of swords. You're afraid, Aries, you're, you're afraid. You want to move forward. You, I mean, you have all these daydreams and desires of something, 
filling your cup, but you're fearful of moving forward. Because it's the unknown. But I feel like by the end of the month, you're, you're going to be using that Leo strength. You're going to be brave. You're going to be moving forward, taking this leap of faith. And yeah, you've got, oh my God, you've got the Hierophant and the Queen of Cups. And looking at what else is out there in the world for you. Because not everybody is out to hurt you, Aries. Not everybody is this deceptive energy of the Seven of Swords. They're not a liar, cheater, thief, backstabber. They're not out just for you, your money or what you can give them. This is somebody who truly wants to be in union with you. Who could be a beautiful match for you. So yeah, stop hanging on so tightly to these past wounds. Because this new person that's coming in. And yes, I do feel like this is love. And I don't know why all of my readings for December right now are more, more about love than money. But they sure are. Um, this new person that is coming in really wants you. Really wants you. Like, really wants you. It's not... I don't feel like it's a toxic energy. I just saw the devil on the bottom of the deck. It's not a toxic energy this time. It's not someone that's going to harm you or use you. It's not somebody you're going to... This is the Eight of Cups in reverse. It's not someone that's going to hurt you. That you're going to walk away wounded. This is the Emperor. Whoever this person is, they're genuine in their offers. And there's justice in this. There's, there's justice and there's hope. You don't have to be so defensive. Let down your guard. Let down your veils. Let go of your hurt. See this new person. I don't even feel like they're new. I feel like you know them. And you've been contemplating this for a while. But you're still caught up in that energy of being stabbed in the back. So you're not willing to trust them. And let them in your heart. And spirit is saying to put down your weapons. Put down your shields. Remove your veils. Ease your pain. Heal it. Mend it. Rest. Four of Swords. Rest. Heal. Recover. We're in Mercury Retrograde pretty soon for the rest of the month. And the Retrograde is all about the re's, right? Reinvent. Renegotiate. Re... Whatever, right? Reconcile your differences within yourself and with others. Heal. Heal yourself. I think that's the main message for you here, Aries. Is for you to finally be ready to heal yourself and let go of these past wounds. Any closing advice for Aries, please, Spirit? Any closing advice? Yeah, see, you've got the Eight of Cups again, the King of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles was in reverse. So, Spirit's saying that whoever this is, this is not someone that you have to worry is going to break your heart. It's not immature. They are a very mature person. What they're offering you is of value and worth. They are your King of Pentacles, male or female. They are your king of pinnacles if you're willing to let them in. You've got the empress, the chariot, the page of swords, the knight of cups. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is energy of trusting again. 
trusting and not living in that fear that they're going to hurt you, you know, so that they can, not just they, but you can be complete and have that life together that you both desire. You both desire a happy, mature, stable, financially and in love type of relationship. This is not someone who's out to hurt you. And it's time for you to let your guard down and trust someone again. Not feel like, I'm hearing not feel like everyone is out to get you. So I hope this resonated and I hope this helps. I wish you many blessings of peace and love. If you would like a personal reading, I'm offering them right now for $35. The email link is down below. Thank you, and I'll see you soon.